In this video, you're going to learn how to create a really nice looking logo intro inside Create Studio. Let's just have a quick preview. Cool. So yeah, this was basically created from scratch. And what I want to show you is how to create this kind of animation. Um, it's really actually not too complex, even though it looks quite difficult um, from the get go. But let's go ahead and I'm just going to save this and delete everything. So I'm just going to select everything and hit delete. And I'll remove that track and this like so, okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make the first part, I'm going to show you the main techniques and then I'm going to at the end add some details to make it a bit more complex. Um, but it's pretty simple actually to do. So um, if you follow along step by step, you'll get the idea of how it works and you'll be able to replicate these kind of techniques in your own videos. So let's go ahead and first go to the shape tool and I'm going to go and click on the circle to create a circle. And what I want to first do is actually grab a background image. So I'm going to grab this one that I got from pixels and I'll just, you know, make it scale it up like that. And I'm going to double click on it and call it background and then simply drag it to the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to lock this because I don't want to edit it. I just want to be able to move things around. So for the circle, I'm going to call it one and I'm just going to, click on this expand tool to bring it up quite big and I'm just going to use the scale over here and just simply drag it out so you basically want to make a circle that's covering the whole of your canvas okay so now I've got my circle I've got it called it one I'm going to click on the center make sure that it's centered and that looks good and now what I can do is simply click on the drop down and I'm going to create a custom scale animation now what you could do if you don't want to do this you could just go to motion and go to in and go to zoom and go scale up like this and you've got your animation and you might want to remove the um, the, the fade so click, click on disable fade and that will remove that and you maybe maybe want to make it a bit faster by dragging that out like that okay so now I've got this animation so we could have that and that works fine as well I just wanted to kind of show you guys how to use custom animation so you can also play around with these as well so um, yeah, with the circle selected, click on the plus icon to add a custom animation. And now what you need to do is basically enable the properties that you want to animate. So for this animation, I want to make it scale up. So I'm going to select on scale and now I've got my properties selected. I can animate them. Okay. If you don't select anything, even though you have a custom animation down here, it won't add any animation. So you really need to select what you want to animate and you can animate multiple different, uh, you know, properties by selecting multiple um, yeah, properties on here. So we've got scale, which is good. I'm just going to go through and drag it out because I want it to be about one second long, about there or so. And now we have the circle as we want it at this point. So with a time indicator at this point, we have the circle at this size, but I want to make the circle start at zero. So I'm just going to drag the time indicator to the start. Okay. And then go to settings and simply make it zero, okay, like this. And if I play this, you see we've got our animation like so, and that looks good. And you can play around with the easing, so maybe you wanna click on the easing and you want it to, maybe you have a both um, easing, so it eases in and eases out. We can see what that looks like. It's a bit slower, but it kind of eases in and then goes faster and then it, then it slows down a bit. Okay, so now we've created our animation and it looks, it looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, it looks cool. I'm just gonna, duplicate it so I'm just going to click uh, hop on my keyboard command D to duplicate and you can see I've got another layer here and I'm going to name this one 2 and I'm going to duplicate that one again and I'll use uh, rename this one 3 okay so now I've got three layers and they're all coming in at the same time so we need to offset them so I'm just going to drop down this track name and just drag this out a little bit like so Okay, so maybe it starts about there, and this one starts about there. And we also need to change the colors. So I'm going to select this one and make this one, just I'm going to make it a different color, like gray, for example. And this one can be my main color, so it's cool. Let's, let's make this one um, a gradient. I'm going to go with something like a blue and maybe a green, like this. So you can see now that we have yeah three circles coming in like this. Okay. Um, and one thing I want to do is basically have an image 
that overlays on the second circle and it creates a really cool effect, okay? So currently it's looking like this. Maybe it's a little bit too much of a delay, so I'm just gonna drag this back across a bit and also this one a bit as well. And let's just preview if that looks good. Okay, maybe a little bit more space. It's all about kind of playing around and seeing what looks good to you, okay? Uh, so let's have a look at this. Cool. So what I wanna do now is basically overlay an image on the circle. So I've got this image from Pixels. I'm just gonna drag it onto the canvas and I'm gonna click on this button to make it full width like that. And I'm just gonna drag it so it's about the same length as this one. And what I'm gonna do is simply click on here to bring everything down and just drag this down like that and right click on it and then go mask with two, okay? And now what you'll see happen is basically it creates this really cool effect. It's basically overlaying the circle, uh, the image on the circle it creates this really cool effect as you can see. So let's play, play this through. Okay. And now what I wanna do, now that I've got that done, I could just go through and maybe make everything uh, a bit longer, maybe about this length and duration like so. So let's preview this again. That's looking really cool. And now I wanna circle to basically pop out at me um, and yeah, kind of come in that it can be my placeholder for my logo. So I'm gonna go onto this shape tool, click on circle, and I've got my nice circle. I'll make sure it's centered over here. And you could create a custom animation or you could just do the easy way by clicking on motion and going to zoom and go uh, elastic scale up. Let's go grab that one. Uh, whereabouts is it? Elastic scale up, this one here. And I'm gonna remove the fade, so right click disable fade. And so let's have a look at this one. So it's coming about here, this one comes in. I wanna have a bit of a delay, so the circles come in and then it pops out like that, okay? So I've got that, it's looking good. And I'm gonna go grab my logo. So you can import your own logo by clicking on import media and then selecting one from your computer. And I'm gonna drag the logo to the canvas and basically place it um, inside the circle. And you can make it smaller or bigger, however you, you think looks good on your in your own kind of view. So I've got my logo line, uh, lined up as well. I'm just gonna add the same animation. So select that, go to motion and elastic scale up. Okay, I've got the same animation. And if I preview this now, we can see what we've created so far. Cool. So then maybe that's coming in a bit fast. I'm just gonna drag this out again a little bit more so we have more of a delay. And we'll just preview this again. Okay, so maybe a little bit too more delayed. I'm gonna go zoom in a bit uh, and just, again, bring it out a bit like so. And let's preview this. Cool, so it's like, it's basically like a zooming effect, like all these circles are zooming and zooming in and then all of a sudden one circle pops in it and it basically has your logo, okay? So there's my logo reveal. Now after this time, we wanna basically um, go through and make the logo come down and then have our logo text behind here, okay? So again, to do this, you could just simply go to motion and go to slide and backslide bottom. Uh, whoops, on out to make sure select out and then backslide bottom I think it is, yep. And select that one and again the same one, go to out and backslide bottom like that. And I might drag it out a little bit longer so that it has a bit more time on there. So it comes in like this, we've got a logo and it goes up and down. And you might want to make it a bit faster just by dragging that out like this. And once that comes down, we want the, basic, the the text behind here to kind of appear. So it looks like it's hiding behind here. It's kind of a little subtle cool effect, but I could just simply add text and go create studio. And I'm just gonna place it around there. And what I need to do is basically place it behind the circle. So just drag it down on your timeline so that it's behind all these, uh, the logo and the circle placeholder. I'm just gonna make sure it's centered like that. And you could just go and hide these to see it if you want. Um, but yeah, so about this point, we want it to start appearing. So, or maybe at about this point when it starts to drop down. And then all of a sudden it reveals like that. Um, and then what we could also do is just uh, duplicate that one and have your logo name, so let's call this one, create uh, your website name, sorry. So create studio.com. 
And I might change this text font and make it something like Poppins, you know, something like that. And I'll just zoom in a bit and make it smaller. Place it below. And then also I want to have a motion, uh, just use a fade in effect for this one, okay? So let's go to fade, fade in. And I want it to st start a bit later, so maybe about this point here. And let's just preview that. Cool. So that's looking really good. And what we could then do is just basically have like an audio track playing on top. So I'm going to try this one. This one's from the uh, audio library of tracks um, over here. If you go to audio, if you've um, upgraded to have the audio library, you can access them from the logo idents. Um, and then if I play this through. Okay, and that's looking super cool. Um, what we could also do, you know, I'm pretty pleased with this one. I'm, I could just like render this as it is, but if you wanna add some more details, you could add some shapes so if you go to studio and if you go to shapes down here, um, we've got some really nice animated shapes that you can just use. So I'm going to grab one like this, for example, just go across, uh, maybe put it like so. And then I could just simply duplicate this one and I'll bring it down here, maybe make it a little bit smaller and I'll, I'll make this color white like so. And this one I'm going to go and add a border so I'm going to click on that go to advanced and then give it a border maybe like four and I'll go back to settings and for the color I'm going to make the opacity of this shape or the fill of the shape um, 0% uh, if you want to keep the border make sure not to adjust the overall opacity otherwise you won't be able to see the border just want to go through to color and remove the fill opacity there okay and you could go through and select for example a circle as well maybe bring it out like this, bring it down and resize it and add like different shapes that you like um, onto, on, on here to you know add some extra detail. So I can make this one white again and then duplicate this one and maybe bring it over here, remove that color as well and then go to advanced border, make it three or maybe six for example and maybe make it a little bit smaller like that, okay? And then what you want to do is make, maybe zoom in a bit closer and kind of make them start at different times. Just kind of drag them out like this. To have a bit of variety with this. And let's just preview this. Cool. So that's how, um, you know, you can go through and create a really nice intro animation pretty quickly, um, as you could see. Um, the main parts were you want to just create a circle with a zoom animation um, and then duplicate it three times and offset it so that they start at different times and obviously create different colors. Um, with the second one, we overlaid an image using the mask option and then we basically created another circle that bounced in with our logo bouncing in as well. Um, yeah, and then brought it down like that. So the best thing to do is to try this out yourself. So go ahead and try and replicate these steps step by step and once you get it you'll have a better idea of how everything works and so the next time you create it it will be a lot easier um, and then obviously moving forward you'll get better and better at better at animating and things will get a lot quicker and easier because you understand the, how they all function okay so if you enjoyed this make sure to add a like on this video and leave a comment below and yeah have fun animating